I'm Noni the Slob of TheSlobComesClean.com, where for the past two years I have shared the completely honest account of my personal deslobification journey. Over on The Slob Comes Clean, every week I share a fine, almost every week, I share a decluttering project that I've done around my house. Well, in an effort to expand myself, I've decided that I'm not only going to vlog these projects, I'm also going to vlog them. Vlog. Which really just means make a video. There we go. Webisode number one, decluttering with Noni the Slop. The kitchen drawer. Here is the kitchen drawer. Pretty embarrassing. Basically, this is the reason why I pretend to be a really great hostess. And when a guest says, oh, no, I'll get my own fork, I say, no, 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 let me do that for you. Here's all the stuff that I took out of the drawer, except the silverware, the stuff that was actually supposed to be in there. I didn't have room for that on this counter. This is the part in the process when I get very overwhelmed with what to do with all of that stuff. When I took it out of the drawer, I divided it into piles. So now I'm going to take out this liner. This is why I like this liner, because I can take it out and I can go wash it. Now to figure out what was inside the drawer, it was taking up all the space, a lot of plastic silverware. I'm going to throw all of this, actually I'm going to donate all of this, because maybe somebody somewhere could use it. I've got a box right here. Here we go. Donate box. I have two of these ever so cool Tupperware egg scoop wrappers except that my husband's the one who boils eggs around here, not me, because he was a bachelor for 32 years and figured out how to do those things, and I decided why in the world would I boil eggs if he's going to do it. So, I like these. I'm keeping these for Easter. I'm going to put that in with the Easter basket. One and a half sets of chopsticks. Things that go on the other side of the kitchen next to the stove. Measuring cups. Again, these don't go here. They go over where I do the measuring. Yep, just confirmed it. Hubby has the coffee scoop that he likes inside the coffee that we're actually using. These other two coffee scoops, I'm guessing, never ever get used. Here is my handy dandy little bread basket that I used as a um, place for our steak knives, but I had a lot too many steak knives, ones that were really lame that I picked up at garage sales that obviously someone else got rid of who knew that they were really lame, but for some reason I had kept them. So I've taken them out. I used to think my steak knives were too long and that they caused this to happen. Turns out they're not too long. It's just when they're all shoved in there and there are too many. Then they poke through the end. So I'm keeping this as my little steak knife place. I found the other chopstick in with the straws. Pretend spoon and knife. Fishing lure, Christmas ornament, don't ask. And a picture, that's what I always think. Where is that picture? In the silverware drawer, of course. And do you know what I found that I have been looking for forever? My hilarious fork. Yep, there you go. Gotta clean out that drawer. My newly organized drawer. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, did she think you were watching a decluttering organizing expert of some sort? No. I'm just a very real person with a very real slob problem. The one thing that I really learned from this project, do need a real organizing system for this drawer. The one that I have doesn't work. I have um, different silverware items that don't have a place to go, but I didn't know that because the drawer was such a wreck. And there was no way for me to know if the problem was all the stuff or the organizing system that I had. So this is the first step for me to get all this stuff out and make sure that I only have in there what I actually need. And once I know what I actually need, then I can get a system set up. So there we go. That's the end of webisode number one, decluttering the kitchen drawer. I hope you'll join me next week or over on a Slop Comes Clean.